예, 이번에는 그 해외 연사분을 모셨습니다. 아토텍의 지오다노 시몬치니 그룹장 아, 일반 표면 처리 사업부 배터리 애플리케이션을 맡고 있는 그룹장님을 모셨습니다. 아, 안녕하십니까? Thank you very much for the opportunity for having me today. 그룹장님이라고 불러야 되겠죠? 그룹장님 지금 어, 한국에 한 번씩 와 보셨습니까? I have been in Korea a couple of times already. 무슨 일 때문에 오셨습니까? Oh, uh, it was always business. 아토텍 비즈니스 때문에 오셨습니까? 아토텍 비즈니스. 아, 오케이. 이태리 분이신 것 같은데요. I am originally Italian, yes. 지금 회사는 근무지는 어디세요? In Berlin, Germany. 베를린에서 일하고 계시고 베를린에서 오래 계셨습니까? Yes, I would say a long time. 아토텍 본사가 베를린에 있습니까? Yes, the Atotech of the MKS brand. Uh, Atotech is in Berlin. 지금 MKS라는 미국 회사에 어, 합병이 되었죠. Yes, that is correct. MKS의 어, 아토텍이 하는 그 사업부는 여전히 계속 남아 있는 것이고요. Yes, as a brand of uh, MKS, we are still Atotech. 그러면 그 일부 브랜드로서 아토텍의 무엇을 하는 회사인지 간략하게 소개를 좀해 주십시오. Yes, basically MKS Autotech is a surface finishing solution provider. It's actually a leader in this market. We've got two business legs. This means electronics, think of PCB, IC substrates and semiconductors. And then we have the industrial application, which is mainly automotive, it's called general metal finishing. 그럼 지금 배터리 애플리케이션 같은 경우는 지금 어디에 속해 있는 거죠? So the battery solution is now hierarchically in the company in the GMF industrial part, but we are a group that is working cross functionally with both electronics and GMF experts together. 또 아까 계속 설명해 주신 거 제가 말씀 끊으신 것 같은데 계속 얘기를 해 주시면 좋겠습니다. Yeah, basically it is for us quite a new field. And this is why we uh, installed a dedicated team uh, that is doing battery-related projects uh, from both the R&D side as also business-wise, the business activities are being followed up by a group of experts that is working in basically all the regions of the world in a very coordinated and uh, organized way. 배터리 분야의 표면 처리 기술은 어떤 것을 말씀을 하는 겁니까? So actually we like to say that uh, you can find our products everywhere inside and all around the batteries. Really gives you the idea. So um, our product find application at cell level. Think of the current collectors, the pouch, uh, laminated aluminum of the pouch type cell, nickel plated steel for the cylindrical Uh, cells and then if you zoom out in the whole assembly and the packs so thermal management system components cooling trays cooling blades everything that is aluminum and then the connections bus bars IHV connectors and of course the housing and the shells of the batteries aluminum steel components 배터리 쪽에 이 사업은 언제부터 시작을 하셨던 겁니까? Oh, very recently. We had the first projects four years ago. And since then, we have been increasingly receiving requests from the market, from our existing customers, as well as the new prospect that want to be in the supply chain of the automotive uh, EV battery. And uh, uh, based on that, we started developing for meeting those challenges and also a dedicated and, and concerted business. activity model. 지금 주요 고객사는 어디가 좀 있으실까요? Difficult to uh, answer in a compliant way. Yeah. So what I can tell you is uh, in the, for example, in the uh, general metal finishing leg of our business, more than 50% uh, is automotive related. And then just to give you an idea and the sense of the magnitudes, like in the batteries, you've got like 20 to 30% of the cost of the new EV. So it's a very important important focus of investment. And uh, as you can imagine, we, uh, we do a certain considerable amount of revenues in automotive and uh, increasingly so uh, we are and we will do more revenues in batteries as well. 그렇다면은 한국이 아토텍에서 차지하는 비중, 중요성 이런 건 어느 정도인가요? It's crucial for the batteries, extremely important. <웃음> It's one of the most important regions for us, of course. MKS 아토텍의 이 표면 처리 관련해서 배터리 애플리케이션 분야의 경쟁사는 있습니까? So if you mean specifically in the battery field, we see some usual competitors. 
that are uh, chasing the same applications that we are uh, doing. And also we see some uh, smaller competitors that are very specified on specific technologies. The difference with us is that we have a much wider product portfolio and also that we have a stronger focus on environmentally friendlier technologies, which we think it's a key value proposition for the battery uh, industry. Battery application 분야의 메탈 피니싱 분야, 제너럴 메탈 피니싱 분야의 헤드이신데 그럼 이쪽 분야에서 지금 쓰이는 약의 공정 대략 뭐몇 가지 정도 됩니까? 지금 양이 너무 많기 때문에 특정해서 제가 하나만 여쭤보기는 좀 약간 어려울 것 같아서 이렇게 포괄적으로 네. Okay, I would say products that we are highlighting at this year in their batteries that are important to us. For example, Q-Protect Excel, it's called a new um, post-treatment solution, environmentally friendly, chrome 6 free post-treatment solution for copper foil current collectors. And additionally, of course, Interlocks product series. Aluminum is the keyword, so it's um, a product portfolio for the pre-treatment and uh, adhesion promotion of aluminum and aluminum alloys uh, for subsequent coating, uh, paint or flame retardant application. 그럼 배터리 셀 고객사가 최종 고객사가 되는 겁니까? 아니면은 소재를 공급하는 회사가 최종 고객사가 되는 겁니까? It really depends on the application because as already mentioned we cover several different application. Uh, sometimes you would have the battery manufacturer supplier as our customer. Sometimes those supplier outsource the surface treatment to other companies as well. 지금 유가 크롬이 없는 제품을 동박 쪽에 적용을 할수 있다라고 했는데 그 전에 가면 유가 크롬 썼다는 얘기입니까? Uh, it is still a benchmark in the industry right now for uh, for copper for anti tarnishing purposes. What we want to do is to slowly replace that with a more environmentally friendlier solution. Also because in Europe but also in other regions of the world, chrome 6 is being targeted heavily by regulation. It's a nasty a poisonous substance and we are aiming Uh, mid and long term to completely replace that in the industry. 지금 국내에 그럼 동박 공급하는 회사들도 유럽의 기준을 만족시키려면은 지금 유가 크롬이 없는 제품 써야 된다는 말씀이신 거군요. Okay, if there will be a new gigafactory in Europe, that will be under European regulation. So all the supply chain that is producing in Europe uh, will need to comply with local regulation. That is the easy answer. Of course, if then the products are imported, we start a different kind of topics. But if production is in Europe, it has to comply with local regulations. 그럼에도 불구하고 지금 그것을 프리한 제품으로 만들어야 된다라는 인식 같은 거는 업계 전반적으로 퍼져 있는 상태입니까? The reason why we developed this product is um, for once we are uh, replacing chrome 6 also in other applications. Uh, for example, plating on plastic. It's a classical example. And so it's consistent with the company's strategy to pursue Chrome 6 free replacement technologies. And then there is another reason, which is basically we see uh, the use of these substances increasingly problematic because of the regulations. And uh, uh, there will be a time, or at least we think there will be a time, when using Chrome 6 will be either much more difficult than today or impossible at all. 그렇다면 동박을 하는 솔루스 첨단 소재라든지 SK Nexilis. SK Nexilis라든지 이런 쪽이 새로운 고객사가 될 수도 있는 거겠네요. <웃음> we hope so. <웃음> uh, we hope so. They are not our customer yet. 그렇다라고 한다면 새로운 재료, 새로운 어떤 표면 처리를 하게 되면 기존의 어떤 이런 동박이라든지 만드는 공정이라 이렇게 바뀌면 가격 인상이 요인이 될 텐데 어떻게 고객들이 받아들일 수 있을까요? There are cases where the chemistry solution would move from a commodity pattern or a commodity cost base to a proprietary cost base, but then of course depends on the volumes of production. 배터리 애플리케이션 쪽 헤드 맡으신 지는 얼마나 되셨습니까? January 2023. 얼마 안 되셨네요. It's not long. <웃음> 이쪽 산업에 대해서 공부를 그럼 많이 하셨겠어요? Yes, I have been studying very hard. I also have a long um, professional experience in this industry now. It's more than 15 years maybe. 그럼 이쪽 분야 헤드 맡으셨을 때 회사에서 뭔가 타겟을 내려줬을 것 같은데 
어떤 타겟이 있습니까? The customer, the, the customer is the king, and this is the future. I mean, the battery is the new automotive business. If you think of more than 50%, as I mentioned before, in general metal finishing is sales in automotive, then the battery is the new automotive. And the battery business for us is uh, strictly connected to what we normally do. So we need to uh, meet uh, customer requirement, first target, uh, develop products that are meeting the market needs. needs in a timely manner another important target and the third target is to be a partner of reference for this kind of customers i mean if they think of surface treatment we hope that in the future we can demonstrate that we are a partner of choice revenue and 숫자로 뭔가 받은 목표는 없습니까 <laughs> yes again it's very difficult to answer this question in a compliant <laughs> <laughs> so uh, if we are successful in what we are doing for battery application then in five years from now we should have a considerable market share for surface treatment application there. 향후 5년에 더큰 이익이라고 하면 5년 뒤에 한 2배 혹은 10배 can be and we see the potential for that being definitely more than double and most likely also in terms of market share if we uh, have the product that the market needs with we which we think we have we should be targeting a considerable market share for surface. 이번에 인터베터리 때문에 오신 거 같은 근데 와서 좀 둘러보셨습니까? Oh, this time unfortunately not because I'm flying to another Asian country afterwards to meet customers. 오늘 짧은 시간이지만 어, 깊게 인터뷰 잘 해주셔서 고맙습니다. 다음 기회에 또 한국 오시면 한번 그때는 좀 깊게 한번 얘기를 한번 해보시면 좋겠습니다. Yes, please, let's do that. Thank you so much. Thank, thank, thank you so much for having me.